today you're going to click on the link and make a copy of this force and momentum problems worksheet for yourself. Here are the equations for um, force. Force equals mass times acceleration. It's Newton's second law. And our label on this is Newton's, okay? Um, because we can also look at it as kilograms times meters per second squared. Sorry, my pen is not working so well right now. All right. So on momentum, I know it looks weird, but momentum is actually shown as a P. And what two things make up momentum is mass times velocity. So the label on momentum is kilogram times meters per second. Okay. And so up here, when it's asking you for the units, you should be able to know that um, your units are going to typically be grams or kilograms. Our momentum is going to be the kilograms times meters per second. Distance is going to be meters. Force is going to be a newton um, time, your acceleration, your velocity, and weight is a force of attraction, so it actually is going to be newtons as well. So what it's trying to do up here is for you to fill in what the labels are. Um, I gave you most of them. I didn't say these few because you should be able to know that because um, one of the skills that we are having trouble with are the labels and recognizing when we use what. Okay, so now these are very simple conversions. They shouldn't take you that long to work through this. So if you are worried about um, finding force, so how much force is needed to accelerate a 100 kilogram mass at a rate of 2.5 meters per second squared. So we have a mass, we have an acceleration, we're gonna multiply the two together to get the force, okay? This one's asking you what force is acting on, it's still a force. If I ask what is the mass, notice we can manipulate. So to get mass by itself, we're gonna divide over acceleration, you'll get force divided by acceleration to give you the mass, okay? So very simple conversions here, but you're gonna work with them a little bit to, today to convert these. Um, like I said, you can make a copy of this sheet on Google and then type your answers directly on there and then share that with me if you'd like, or if you wanna just write them out on paper or on a whiteboard, you can do that as well. Just make sure that you take a picture of your whiteboard. I really want you to work through these today. Um, if you get done with that, you can uh, work with your partners on your Newton's Law videos, not actually going out and videoing unless uh, Mr. Lyon is okay with that. I believe he's my sub today. Um, but you can get your ideas together on how you're going to uh, describe Newton's Laws and how you're going to teach about them. And my daughter Mackenzie is saying hi. All right, have a good day, guys. I'll talk to you later.